Are you using X-ray test management for JIRA? Watch this video to learn about the easiest way to generate test summary reports. In this demo, we use Confluence for our test reports. What you'll need is to install the JIRA Snapshots app on Confluence along with the traceability extensions for JIRA Snapshots. You now have gained superpowers to generate test summary reports like never before. Before diving deeper, this demo is on cloud. The same functionality is available for data center. Check out our channel for the equivalent video for data center. This is Confluence and this is the test summary report. The test report table is a JIRA snapshots table. The data here is a static copy of data retrieved from JIRA. Each snapshot has a timestamp indicating when it was taken. This snapshot has two levels. On the left side, we have the tests. Based on how it's configured, JIRA Snapshot selects from JIRA only the tests that are in scope. The right side of the report lists the test runs for each test. Each test run includes certain fields, the test run status, obviously, but also the time of the test, defects, etc. When configuring a JIRA snapshot report, you have full control of which fields are included. Let's navigate to JIRA and review this test case. You can see that this test was run many times. However, in the test report, only three runs are included. That's because the JIRA snapshots macro was configured to select which test runs to include. It is currently set to include only the tests related to version v2.2 and those executed on an iOS environment. This is how powerful JIRA Snapshots is. It brought the test and test run information from JIRA based on an exact criteria and captured how it was at the point of time. To get fresh data about the test cycle, the only thing you need to do is to press on the Take New Snapshot button. Fresh data is retrieved from JIRA and the page is now updated. You can see that the snapshot timestamp is updated and the information has changed too. Each time a new snapshot is taken, the Confluence page is updated and a new version is added to the page history. Let's look how this page is set up. Open the page in edit mode. The complete test report is generated by this single macro, the JIRA snapshot macro. The macro is set to have two levels. The first level is for the tests. The JQL clause defines which test will be included in the report. You can configure which JIRA fields will be included for each test. The second level is the test runs. JIRA snapshots can generate second levels that are retrieving regular JIRA issues, but in our case, we want to get test runs. Hence, I set the level type to be test runs. Now, set the title for the level and the selection criteria. We do not need all test runs, but only those associated with version 2.2 and the iOS environment. Setting this criteria here will ensure only these test runs will be retrieved. Lastly, set the list of fields from the test runs, and that's it. Save and publish the page, and you are all set to generate test reports faster than ever before. Check out Jira Snapshots for Confluence and the traceability extension on the Atlassian Marketplace. They are the perfect power-ups for your test team.